Yeah. We're back at one of my favorite restaurants in town, guys, Baratillo. And you can see it's full. Look at this. Look at all the people here already. Wow. Awesome. Inside? There's something cool over there. They have a table. Yeah, let's go, guys. I think maybe right here. There it is, guys. This place has the best Bravo de Toro, or did at least the last time I was here. La <laughs> The ambiance of this place, guys, I love it. All these guys running around here. It kind of reminds me how it used to be. And I really love this place, guys. The last time I was here, I had the best Robo de Toro that I ever had. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. I hope it's as good as before. We're also gonna try two more dishes that I had not tried here. So looking forward to this, guys. I've been looking forward to this place since we came back. Love the atmosphere, guys. I love it. Feels like we're back almost in time now with all this going on behind me. They've got the menu here, guys, in six languages, so you know it must be good. German. What is this one? Turkish? I'm not sure what that is. Japanese. Italian. Is that Czech? And French. Wow, I hope I got those right. Unbelievable. In English, I'm sure, too. So even more languages. Okay, guys, there's the Rabo de Toro. We got it there. So go ahead and try that, Miko. See if it's different than the last one you tried. Is it better than the one you had in the Triana? I think it's the same. Same, okay. Gonna go try this Rabo de Toro. Last time I had it was fantastic here. It does seem smaller than the last time, I'll have to say that, guys. But the meat, look at that, it is nice and tender. Look at that, look at that meat, how tender it is. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. Let me get some of that sauce, soaking up that sauce, that flavor. I think they changed the recipe or something, guys. It just tastes different to me than the last time. Still good, but not as good as the last time I was here and I had it. So it is really tender, guys. Look at that. Look how tender it is. Let me try it with some of these uh, potatoes. I'm not saying it's bad. It is good. But the time I had it before, it just seemed like extra special. And it was so, so big, too. It's good. It's definitely good. It has that roast beef taste to it. Similar to a roast beef to me. It's really tender here. It's more tender here than the other place. Nico's got his eggplant there. How was that? No, this is good. No. Okay. He's got his eggplant there, guys. So let me try some of that. And they call these bastones. So they're like little canes. Crispy. Crispy eggplant. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh my god, I got that big one. Let me cut that in half. That's nice. The barahina is nice. I like it. That's always a good choice. We always seem to like that one. The potatoes are quite nice, guys. Actually, the potatoes are really nice. Mm. Really good. It is a good dish. I think it's just something that's changed since the last time I was here. So, still some nice tapas, guys. I'm a little disappointed with the Rabo de Toro because I had it the last time. It was much bigger and it was, to me, it was tastier. It had more taste. I don't know what they did this time. Maybe they've changed cooks. Maybe something's happened through all this pandemic. I don't know. It's still a good tapa. But it's not as good as the last time I had it, guys. So I'm going to give it about a 7. It is still quite good. It could have a little bit more flavor, but it is tasty. And it is very tender, the meat. The potatoes were excellent. And the berenjena is nice. I'm going to give the berenjena about maybe an 8 on that one. I like that one. So both the tapas are good. 4 euros for the... For the Rabo de Toro, it's still a very good value and $3.50 for the Berenjena. So, very good value at this place. So, the tuna looks great, guys. Look at that. That looks fantastic, Miko. That is the tuna in Wow. 
Uh huh, it's tender. Yeah, I just love that, guys. Wow, that's a great dish. We had that when we were in the Barbate. We were in Barbate, we had that. How was that? Mm. Yeah, it's nice. It's not too fishy. Yeah. So, yeah, it's nice. Okay, nice. And I just asked the guy, did the um, recipe change for the Rabatatori? He said no. He said they've had the same recipe and the same cook. So, I don't know what it is, guys. Maybe it's my taste buds today. I really don't know. But to me, something changed in there. And I'm going to try this uh, tuna now. Wow. Nice piece of tuna there, guys. A nice piece. I think that is four euros too. That is a nice tapa. Very nice sized tuna there. Look at the tuna, guys. Look at that. Wow. It is good, but I think the one in Barbate was better, guys. The one in Barbate was maybe it was fresher. It was better, I think, but let me try it again. What is that, onion? Some onion on there? So let me try this part here. Nice with that onion, like a sweet onion, so I like that. That actually adds to the flavor. So good, but it was better in Barbate, I think, and Gatti's. Maybe because the tuna was fresher. And I think it was a little bit softer. Maybe they didn't cook it quite as long. But another good tapa. Another good tapa. It's definitely, definitely still a good tapa. I just got into the center of it, guys. I just got into the center there. Look at that. And I like it better now. The center is much more tender. You can see that it's a little bit rare. I like it like that. It has more flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. That's where the flavor is in that center, the tender part. It seemed like the outside edge was a little bit crispy. The center is beautiful. So I think I'm going to give that one the best tapa. I'm going to say this one is like about a eight and a half on that one. So I'm, I'm gonna go tuna. Wow, I hate to put the cola de toro last. I said I loved it last time I was here. It's between the berenjena and the cola de toro for a second. So, or the rabo de toro. Here they call it the cola, the bull tail. Or oxtail is what they're calling it in English. I don't know, that's the translation they use. So let's see what Miko thinks. What do you think over here? What do you think, Miko? What's your favorite plate here? I don't like my eggplant, so I won't put it first. Okay, Miko likes the eggplant best, okay? Then, tuna then and the tuna then and then that one, okay. So fairly similar, guys. We're fairly similar on this one. But we do have a change. He likes the eggplant first and the tuna next best. Well, we've got a great combination here of tapas, guys. We've got a little bit of meat. We've got our fish and we've got our veggie. So a great combination, I think. Don't you think, Catman? Nice. Yeah. That's the way to go, guys. And this is only going to be, what, $8, $11.50 for all that food. Not counting the drinks, but I mean, all that, guys. All that for $11.50, we're going to be quite full. So you can eat good here in Sevilla. Like I said, guys, you can eat really, really good. So you can actually see the bone here, guys. That is the tail. It looks like it. Wow, I've never seen that part before. Wow. So that's the bar baratillo, guys. And we had a good... Tapas meal, you can see that place was so, so full. But I think it was a different Rabo de Toro that I had the last time. I did a video here a while back and I had the Rabo de Toro and it was much bigger and it had a different sauce. It had like a thicker sauce. So I'm gonna put the video up in the corner, guys. You link to that if you wanna check that out and see the difference. Maybe sometimes you go back to a restaurant, a favorite restaurant, and it's just not the same as it was before. And I think this was the case here, unfortunately. It was good, but it was not the same as before. Last time I gave it a 10. Today I'm gonna give it maybe an eight, something like that. So still good, but not what I had the last time, unfortunately. So we did have a great afternoon here. I would still recommend this place. And we did have a fine a lunch, guys. So we'll see you in the next video. Travel addict guy and Miko the cat man. There he is, guys. Oh yeah. Take care of you, one.